Hi folks, so today we are looking at law and society. Remember for OCR, this is paper three. Now, the kind of questions you could get asked are about um, discuss the extent to which the law reflects the society it comes from. Um, and there's a wide range of things that you can talk about. So I would be using things over your entire two years um, of study and I would be using lots of examples. Examples are really important because they illustrate um, what you know and also um, they answer the question. So how are we going to write an essay? Well, remember eight marks for AO1, 12 marks for AO3. So AO1 is your factual knowledge and AO3 is the evaluation. So first of all, I would define society. I would talk about the idea of shared beliefs, culture and language. Um, I would talk about pluralism. So the idea that the UK is multicultural. We have a large number um, of different cultures, different religions um, and different moral values in society, but society functions. Um, you could talk about the rule of law and the role that that plays in society. Um, so the idea that there are fundamental um, rules such as, you know, nobody is above the law. Um, the law should be accessible to all and the law should be fair. Um, in terms of how society can change law, that's also quite important. Um, so I would be thinking about, you know, protests, campaigns, civil disobedience, these can all lead to changes in the law. I would also talk about the media. I think that's quite important. There are quite a few good examples. So you can mention that um, the media has a big role in supporting changes in the law. Um, so in society, people um, read newspapers, they watch the news, they look at social media. Um, and if the media creates a moral panic, this can actually lead to laws being changed. Um, it's quite good to actually put um, a few theories in there. So, um, you know, you, you could talk about um, Durkheim and how law is needed in society um, to maintain social social stability. Lord Bingham talked about the role of law in society. Um, so Bingham said that people should be treated equally. There should be respect for human rights. People should be punished. The law should be clear and the law should be accessible. Um, so I would also talk about social control and the fact that we have formal social control from the police, the judges um, and prison, parliament. Um, and then I talk about informal social control, so from your peers, family um, and society. So there's quite a lot that you, you can talk about in terms of um, AO1. I would also actually mention realism. So left realism believe that, um, or left realists believe that law um, should should help people, like the system of punishment, they believe in rehabilitation, whereas right realists say, well, you know, prison, you, you need to put people in prison, you need to punish people. The role of law is to punish, it's to send out um, the idea that, you know, we're, we're going to reduce crime by, by punishing you. So in terms of evaluation, what, what can you say? Well, plenty of things that you can say. You can talk about moral panics and how they've led to bad laws. Um, so for example, the, the Dangerous Dogs Act. You can talk about whether society creates laws or whether law impacts society. So, um, you yeah, know, the law can react. It's quite reactive to certain problems like knife crime, um, increased stop and searches by the police. It's, it was reactive to the London rioters, so the harsh treatment um, the criminal justice system was sending out a strong deterrent message. Society has changed laws. So um, all the protests that led to um, the abolition of the, the poll tax. Remember that politicians may react to moral, moral panics because they want to remain popular with the electorate. They want to be um, re-elected. So I would also talk about the fact that the media is only owned by a few people. So do we actually have diversity um, of views or, or not? Um, other things that, I mean, I'm just looking at one of the OCR mark schemes that, that are available um, online. Yeah, it talks about how informal social control is achieved, whether that is effective to create uh, social norms shared by groups and society. It's talked about moral values in a pluralistic society, how it's difficult to satisfy everyone. So does law benefit everyone? Remember, Marx would say that law 
benefits the, the bourgeoisie and it's a way to control um, the, the lower classes. I would also give examples of when society has influenced change. So gay rights um, and again, you know, the, the poll tax. So there's quite a lot that you can talk about. You can talk, you can link in your sentencing aim here, sentencing aims. So the role of law um, to protect society from dangerous offenders. You know, is it effective? Are people always locked up? The people who need to be, are the sentences effective? Punishment, rehabilitation, reparation, all those things can be linked in. Um, so it's different. I think this part of nature of law is, is different to perhaps some of the other essays that you're used to writing for A-level law, but you just have to give lots of examples and keep referring back to the question. So I hope that's helped. If you've got any questions, please comment below.